Hello, I'm David Bernstein. And after that, I can say a couple of things. I can say that I am the chairman of the trustees of the Forward Trust. But I can also say that I'm an alcoholic and an addict in recovery, thank goodness. And very much proud and privileged to be part of the Forward family. And we thought it would be quite nice to send a message out at this time of year, particularly this year, not just to the staff and other trustees, those closest to Forward, but to all the clients, all the volunteers and all the supporters who make up the Forward family. We've always tried as part of our mission in helping people to turn their lives around, to give everybody involved in that journey the feeling that they're part of a family. We now even have Forward Connect to keep us joined to each other after graduation from one of our programmes. We've always had graduate reunions and I hope some of you were able to go to our virtual, our first virtual graduate reunion a couple of weekends ago. And a few days before that, we put online, as so much else has happened this year, our Christmas celebration which might in a different year have been in one of the chapels of the prisons we work in. But we managed to get something together, thanks to YouTube and Zoom, and I hope that some of you were able to join us on those occasions. And all of that is part of staying together at the end of this very difficult year that's been so trying and challenging for so many of us. I might just start by mentioning our clients in prison because for them it's, I think, been hardest of all. Many uh, prison establishments are keeping their guests in their cells 23 hours a day, since March, since February in some cases. And as has been noted by Her Majesty's Inspector of Prisons, Charlie Taylor, that this is a tremendous, um, tremendous challenge for mental health for the individuals involved. So let's think of them. Let's think of those who've been so amazing in adapting the frontline services that we provide so that by hook or by crook we can stay in touch with clients, even those behind cell doors. And let's be grateful and appreciative for the health that we have managed to hang on to. And at the end of the year, I try and think of the principles that underlie all the work we do and also underlies the recovery for those of us who have battled through addiction uh, to alcohol or drugs. And that makes me think of honesty, open-mindedness, willingness to change. And gosh, all three of those have been tested this year. I also think of the serenity prayer, which is something fundamental to those of us who follow a 12-step program. And that um, asks for serenity, for courage, and for wisdom. And if I just unpack that a little bit, um, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. And sure, we've had a lot of those this year. The virus the lockdown, the end of lockdown, the restart of lockdown, the tears arriving, one, two, and three, and then who would have thought it, tier four. Uh, a lot there that we as individuals can't do much about. Courage to change the things we can. And yes, we can all look at ourselves and try and find the courage to change how we respond and react to all of those external factors that have affected us. Where can we adapt? Where can we find tolerance and understanding for those who've had to make these decisions that have um, affected our lives? And uh, wisdom to know the difference. When do I need to get off my butt and change how I respond and react and work and relate to other people? And when do I have to just practice acceptance and tolerance? Hard tasks for all of us, particularly this year. So I, uh, David, would just like to reach out to all of you, say thank you for all you've managed to do to keep our family together and keep the mission to help people turn their lives around, the mission of the Forward Trust, alive and well this year, despite everything, despite all the challenges. 
So, from me, from my fellow trustees, from the executive team, we all send you our very, very best wishes, our gratitude and thanks for your resilience and support. And I hope that you know that as a family, whether it's virtually through messages like this, or hopefully in months to come, face to face, we're here for you, we're here for each other. And that's how we can stay healthy and sane. God bless and best of the season.